Well, welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a layered haircut, kind of feathery, very inspired by uh, Farrah Fawcett. Uh, this is going to be a longer version of these layered feathers around the front. We're going to start in the back. We're going to take a, a section from the occipital bone down to the mastoid, a center section straight across, and then I'm going to comb everything down and you'll notice that I'm flipping my fingers up. So by cutting the length by flipping my fingers up, it's going to make the edges a little bit more airy and quite a bit more flippy. So I just want to continue on with the section until I get all the hair cut, until there's nothing left to cut, all the length is done. Now we're going to start on our layering section and I'm going to take from the high point of the head right over to the high point of the ear and then take a center section around the front and I'm going to hold that straight out in front of the face, measure where I want the shortest layer to be. Here we're going to go kind of between her nose and mouth and then point cut that straight across. So point cutting is going to allow the hair to separate into pieces more than if I was to cut it blunt. And so now after I've taken my center guide, I've created the length I want, I'm just going to visualize it getting longer towards the parting. So I'm not going to try to blend it all the way down to my length. I'm creating a completely new guide for my layering. It's not going to blend with my length. It's actually going to be disconnected from the length. So after I've cut the first section, I'll take a part of that out, use the next little bit as my guide, comb that forward perpendicular to my parting, angle my fingers a little bit so it gets slightly longer towards the perimeter. And just continuing to point cut. And I'm point cutting from the center out. So you see me kind of crossing my hand and cutting from the inside of my hand towards my fingertips. And this is so that when I cut the other side, I can match the same sort of cutting in to cutting out. And then just cleaning up any kind of little bits through there that I couldn't quite control, making sure everything is nice and clean. Going back into the center, taking my center guide again, and then cutting on the other side holding it out at the curvature of the head and then point cutting from the center of the head towards the perimeter. Just tilting my hand a little bit so it makes it easier for the camera to see what I'm cutting. And I'm going to try to make this the same length as the other side but since I don't have a perimeter guide I'm basically just guesstimating at what that angle is going to be and that I'm cutting from the short to the long and then hoping that I can match. So if I have a problem on one side or the other, meaning that I cut stronger on one side and I have less control on the other, I'll tend to cut from my weak side first because it's easier for me to match my strong side to my weak side. Just being patient, cutting all the way down to the length. And then after I do that, I want to check and make sure that my guide lengths are the same. And then we'll move on to the next section. The next section, we're going to go from the crown right to right behind the ear. And this is going to be my next section. Now I'll start right in the center like I did in the first section, except this time I'm not going to cut it the same length. I'm going to go longer. So you see my guide there from underneath. Now I'll drag my fingers out a little bit, probably a finger length, and then cut that a finger length longer. So I'm step layering my layering around the front. And this is the way that uh, the Farrah Fawcett haircut was done. It was done a lot shorter than this. This is the long version. But it was always like this step layered around the front. So the, front, the first section of layering around the front is shorter. And then each subsequent section as you go back gets longer and longer. And I think she had three sections that were separate. And uh, maybe that's where the term three layer, <laughs> I want three layers came from. So the first section, 
was shorter. This section completely ignores the underneath lengths that I use. I'm not using that as a guide. I'm just creating an entirely new guide, uh, irrelevant from the section that I had cut previously. Same thing, going all the way down, making it longer towards the perimeter. Try not to cut myself again. There we go. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Now one thing you'll notice is I'm going off what's called the peak curvature of the head. So when I hold that section out, it's going to be the same as if I was to lay my comb against the head and it will show me whatever that elevation is. So you'll see me shake the section. If I lift the section too high, the roots get kind of soft and spongy. If I hold the section too low, then I'll see the hair curve across the head and I'll see it reflect a, a shiny band of light from where the head's curving. So you'll see me shake it to make sure that I'm at that perfect spot of elevation off the head. Going all the way down, trying to match the sides. I think this side got a little bit longer, so I fixed that. Now we're going to take our last section, which is going to be from the drop crown to the mastoid right behind the ear. Now here I'm going to have her tilt her head forward because it's just going to be a lot easier for me to hold this section with her tilted forward than it would be for me to try to hold it in the air. And I want to make sure there's my guide length underneath, which I'm going to completely ignore and create a new guide over so I'm not using the same, uh, same guidelines just creating a new one with each step. Going off the curvature of the head, making sure I'm up at the right elevation. Cutting that down and through, creating a whole new guide. This one I will actually blend to my length guide. So I have that length right there from the back. I'll make sure that it blends right there and not try to cut my perimeter length off in the back. But that's the only guide that I'm using. Making sure I got the right elevation, angling my fingers away so I save some length on the bottom, cutting that down and through. And that should be it. Now we're going to start on the bangs, her fringe, and I'm going to take a, a subsection straight across the front. And here I'm going to use my plie razor. Hold that straight up in the air and I'm going to deep channel cut this all the way through. So I'm trying to create some really strong separation and I'm not so much worried about the length as much as I am about trying to get a real deep carve into each section that I'm cutting. So I want a lot of separation through here as much as I can get. Her hair is fairly thick so to get that to separate into little pieces I have to be very aggressive with it. Now, I don't have to worry about her having any cowlicks around the front, so I can be really aggressive with the razor here. Now, after I've gone through and channeled as much as I feel that I can, I'll take my styling razor and now I'll go through and worry about the length and I'll just hold that straight down and just fillet that straight across making sure I get you know a mediumly blunt line with the razor and just take that length off get it the length that I want that I feel that it fits in appropriately and just do that straight across now after I've cut the length and I've channeled it I want to blow dry her hair and I'm going to go back and forth with the blow dryer and opposite with my hand so I can dry that without a lot of calyx in it and make it as smooth as possible and now I'll go through with my scissors and exaggerate that separation that the initial plie razor had created and I want to make that much more prominent and pronounced so just channel this out into where I get it to where it matches on both sides and then I'll go through and really exaggerate that separation so we get these PC little bangs and just being patient and going through and getting that right 
then we'll blow dry and I'm going to do a, a round brush set on her with a little bit of mousse in it to help it uh, crisp up just a little bit just a very simple little round brush set and then after that I'll just run my fingers through everything and just finger style it and here's our end result please check out the Jatai Academy there's all kinds of great stuff on there to help with your hairdressing education and also let us know what you'd like to see in the future and I do have a shorter version of this one coming up soon so be on the lookout for that thanks for watching we'll see you next time